Hello there, hi, it's Julie Rothwell here um, from artyheaven.com. I decided to jump on and do a very quick live. I'm actually um, at home at the moment. I've been, I, you might have seen I've set up a temporary home studio. Um, I'm about to move, pack everything up and um, take everything back to my proper studio. So I've got my hot plate set up. I thought I'd just show you a quick bit of live wax painting for those of you that haven't seen it before. It's quite fascinating to watch. Beautiful medium, really tactile and gorgeous. So I'm going to turn this around, not want to waffle too much, show you what I'm doing and I'll keep chatting as I go. So I've got my hot plate on the go here. Let's use the handheld shakiness of this. So this is a big um, heated hot plate and I've had this abstract piece um, on the go for ages and I've been meaning to finish it off. I've got this beautiful frame out here, um, great big lovely silver frame and um, that sits in there and the colour's just lovely and I've been meaning to finish it for ages and I haven't because I've been working on some portraits. So I've, you might have seen that I've uh, been working on some portraits here. So I'm going to finish this off. Um, I'll, so I'll put this in here and you can just watch a little bit of live wax painting as I go. I say, wax painting, if you haven't seen it before, is so versatile. You can do so many things with it. So let me show you how it works. So I've got my heat. So I've got some wax blocks here. Oh, this one's getting a bit teeny tiny. They kind of start off, where am I? This, well, in this range of waxes, they're sort of roughly this size. Um, so I've got a piece of white wax here and I'm just going to, but hopefully you'll be able to see just how fluid and beautifully this goes on. Can you see how that just glides? And it's just the most delicious thing to work with. I absolutely love it. Oops, a bit of... Okay, I'm going to find another one that doesn't have other colours of wax on, hopefully, because I'm picking up lots of... Um, you can see so you can either paint onto the hot plate or you can paint directly on your paper Catherine says you look very happy I am happy I, do you know what I've been trying to work from home and whilst it's been fine it's been good temporarily I just can't find anything everything's in the wrong places Catherine you've been to my studio you know what I'm like I like things I kind of like to put my hands on things and know where they are and I just oops haven't sorry even this slip. everything's kind of all a bit up in the air, can't find things, nothing's in its right place. And I've just decided that it is time to get back to normal. And I am focusing on doing the portraits going forward, but I do have um, quite a lot of abstract work as well. Um, and the fantasy landscapes, I just, wax is so versatile. I really, and basically all of the skills all just, I don't know, they can just be layered on top of one another, so. They do kind of come together, but yeah, it's time to get back to the studio. So I thought I'd jump on and show you this in action. I'm going to burn my fingers in a minute. I'm, can you see I'm nearly down to next to nothing here? There we go. So as you see, they, the, the wax blocks melt and uh, I'll take a new one in a moment. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding. So I've got this, I'm going to start adding um, some colour on here. And I'm just going to start off with, I don't normally like to do this live, hopefully you can see this okay. So I'm just going to add, oh that's a blue, I thought it was a black. See so this is when I'm talking and uh, not concentrating. I've got to make sure I've got the right colour. Yeah, that's the black one. So, sorry, just out of shot here, you can see that. So I'm melting a bit of wax on my hot plate. Dip my squeegee thing in. Sorry, I haven't got my proper holder set up. And then I'm just going to get some more marks across. And the wax will continue to spread around. Say this is kind of an abstract one. 
Anyhow, I'm not going to stand and paint too long. I just wanted to give you the update that that's what I'm doing today. I'm packing up. So this is the last live that you'll get from my temporary home studio. I am heading back to my proper studio up in Sarat and getting things back where they should be. Um, yeah, I feel like it's time. Anyhow, I'm gonna keep going with this. Um, got a few people on, good to see you. Thanks for watching. So let me take, hold this back a bit. So you can see very, very different in style to my portraits that I've been doing. Um, where are we? Down here. Since the lockdown, so I'm going to be doing a few more of those. But uh, anyway, I just thought I would show you. It's just quite interesting seeing some of the ways in which you can paint with wax. As I say, it's such a versatile medium. So I um, thought I'd show you that. Uh, and then I'm going to finish this one particular piece. And then that's it. Packing up going back to my Sarat studio and um, gonna get going. So yeah, if, if um, I'm not going, I used to have open days, let me take this off here a minute, just whilst I'm talking. I used to have open days at my studio on a regular basis. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I'm gonna, if, if you want to come and view any of the art or if you want to buy any of the materials, um, please just contact me. Um, I'm happy to arrange to open the studio by appointment. Um, and I'm just going to go on that basis for a while. Just things have been so uncertain. Just going to ease back into it. So yes, yeah, so I am open. Um, shipping is back on. Everything is kind of back. Um, and my studio is in the middle of nowhere. There's nobody up there. So it's not as if I'm kind of going into a big, busy building with lots of people. I tend to, be, I do share with them, um, with somebody, but I tend to be usually be the only one up there. So uh, yeah, um, plenty of socially distanced opportunity to view art and uh buy supplies and materials and things. So yeah, contact me if you want to know more about that. Um, otherwise, thanks for jumping on and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. I'll post a picture of this one later on. You can see it when it's, uh, when it's all done. All right. Cheers. Bye.